Hello everyone and let's take a look at SWOTOR and we're going to take a look today at how to improve performance and particularly frame rate. Uh, so we've highlighted this problem uh, before uh, with SWOTOR uh, as you can see uh, where it does like the bottom thread on the CPU. You can see it is maxed out and you can see if we move around on the Imperial fleet you can see the frame time is a bit of a mess. This should be a nice flat line, and it's just an utter mess. It's not as bad as it was before, but it is really distracting, especially when you're trying to play the game. I mean, if we look at this here, 20 FPS we're down to. This is horrible, and you can see that single core there. We'll stop that because it's pretty vomit-inducing there. And we can highlight this by going to the fleet. Uh, or the uh, the GTN section of the fleet, and again, look how bad it is with the frame time. Now, this is caused by just the CPU not handling the SMT or the hyper-threading correctly. As you can see, look, one, it's the core or CPU 16 is... Uh... Shut up, Imperial guy. Anyway, so you can see here, this uh, CPU 16 is sitting maxed out, and it's not really using much of the other CPU cores, so this does create a bit of an issue. As soon as we pan the camera, you'll see the frame time just kind of spiking uh, there. Now that the characters have loaded in, um, it does go away a little bit, but if we go over here once again, we can demonstrate that the frame rate dipping it's dipping far too much, really, and it's the variable nature of the frame rate um, that is causing stutters. Now, how do we get around this? Well, in the previous video, we said disabling SMT uh, is the way to get around this, and we're going to show you a better way of disabling SMT because the last time I used Ryzen Master, and Ryzen Master disables the simultaneous multi-threading at the hardware level. And that's not what we want. The problem with that is we have to restart the computer every time we want to, you know, we want to change. If we want to change to another game, we then have to do a restart. And then if we want to play SWOTOR, we have to disable SMT and restart. This is just, this is messy. Um, so we're going to do it at the application layer. Uh, so we're going to use a program called Process Lasso, or Lasso, if you want. Uh, so this will, uh, we'll go back to the desktop and just, uh, it won't minimize it, that's interesting. Anyway, so you can see here uh, we have SWOTOR running and we've got the current process. I'll give you a link in the description, you can get the free version of this. Um, so we go open this up and go to active processes, the little tab there. We will see SWOTOR, there will be two of them, but it doesn't really matter which one. Just use the one that's using the most RAM, go for that one, um, so just go for that one. Uh, Swotor.exe, 32-bit um, application, and what we're going to do is we are going to go up to Set Affinity. We're going to go to Always, and you can see here there is the CPU Affinity, basically is how many cores and threads uh, the application has access to. Now, we could go in manually and untick every second um, thread here, uh, or we could just tick Disable SMT. You can see here now if we set this to current or always if you go to always every time you load the app you are going to have to have process lasso running um when you when you run this it does run automatically in the background it doesn't really affect anything on most uh, modern pcs uh but yes yeah, so i would just go in and hit disable smt and watch what this does when we go in it does set a rule there uh and we can go back to our CPU affinity and we can go again and you can see here it's turned off basically every second CPU basically or every second thread basically so it'll now use eight cores and eight threads now instead of eight cores and 16 threads because we've got a Ryzen 7 3700X which is eight cores 16 threads doesn't like the uh, it doesn't like this uh, very much so what you have to do here is we do have to restart the game because you can see here the uh, CPU is still using that final 16th core even though it doesn't have access to it but you can see there the frame rate if you look we pan around and we drive around the fleet here 
the frame time is, you know, it's nice and flat here. There is still the odd little spike, and the frame rate will drop. Uh, being on the fleet, because um, again, it is very, it's not the most efficient of games. Uh, but you can see the, f the frame rate is pretty much the same. You get the odd little spike, but we're not getting those big stutters that we got when we moved the camera around. We're not getting these big stutters. It's a lot smoother now. And this is this works out really quite nicely for us. Um, if you want even better performance, restarting the application. It will get us just re log out of Swotor and log back into Swotor and it will improve it. But you can see here how nice and smooth it is. It should improve your performance, PvP, PvE. Um, it should stop these big swings. It's not truly flat, and you do, whenever we enter a new area, we do get a frame rate drop. But it is, we can just move around here and it's nice and smooth. People are even doing like healing effects and whatnot. We can even go in and do some effects of our own. There we get a bit of a spike. Someone's let off an orbital strike, which is nice. Uh, and you can see there, it's not going everywhere. The frame rate is not... It's not those big stutters that we were getting before. So it is, it's not perfect, but it is a massive improvement. It makes it goes from being unplayable to playable. So there you go, that is how to improve your frame rate. It should work in war zones, uh, and it should be fine. Uh, PvE, PvP, I did test it in a flashpoint as well. Again, you still get dips in the frame rate, but you're not getting those massive swings and those massive stutters. You can see here, it's using... There are set, it's Now, Windows does still have access to 8 cores and 16 threads, so you are going to see more than 8 cores be used occasionally, but SWOTOR... .exe does not have access to the 8 cores and 16 threads. It only has access to the 8 cores there. You'll see here it has the little rules here where it says 0 to 2, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 10 to 12, and and 12 to 14 here. And again, it's just it's showing you, they will show you again, every second one has been disabled. Uh, now this will stay because we set it to always and if we exit Swotor and go back, uh, as long as we have uh, Process Lasso running, it, it will do that. And it does run, it does start up with Windows um, Process Lasso, so you don't have to bother with that. You can do this in Taskmaster if you want. Um, you can go into the Task Manager and you can do it with that. Um, you can try that as well and that will do the same thing but then every time you restart windows you then have to go back and i think we've uh, lost it there for some reason look as if i've lost it there oh no there it is but i would say suggest restart the application it's stuttering a bit now i think yeah it's gone back to how it was uh before restarting the application we'll get that out, get out of that so set affinity it is disabled, but it's not applying the rule correctly because we've alt tabbed uh, and it's gone back to being stuttery again. You can see how, how easily it does go back, but the best thing to do is just to restart and just quit the game. Sometimes it crashes when we quit it. Right, so we've restarted the game now, and this should be a little bit better for us if restarting. Um, because restarting the app kind of forces it to run again, um, and again that has, yeah, has kind of fixed our stuttering issue there, just restarting. If you do get issues when you alt-tab, uh, restart the game or run the game in exclusive full screen if you have any issues. But anyway, that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.